All right, welcome back to the channel. We've got a full line of golf clubs to hit here. Yep, new Big new. Bertha. Fall line. Fall line. Big Bertha's been around for ever. Literally forever. I don't remember a time when there was no Big Bertha. Yep. Warbird, the original. Warbird's the original. Mm -hmm. So, needless to say, it's targeted to the higher handicap for range. For sure. Probably more occasional players. Yeah. And a player with a certain shot shape. Yeah. Yeah, as they, a stock. They sound like they've been doing some specific testing mm. uh, in Carlsbad with higher handicappers, spe specifically fade bias players, maybe even sneaking into the slice category. Into the slice, perhaps the slice. So, you know, looking at all of them, offset seems to be, mm. uh, on any of the bonded ones, certainly the iron, the fairway with the hybrid, yep. the bonded ones are, are very offset. Funny very that that offset. didn't go into the driver. There's yeah, other I mean, ways to do that, I guess. Yeah, that, it's just it's, it's the nature of that's why you don't see much offset anymore because, you know, they can set heads a little bit closed just by the loft sleeves nowadays. So we've got driver three wood hybrid seven iron. Yes. Of the whole set. We it, have. it comes, did you say it basically comes driver to lob wedge? Like mm -hmm. you, can, you could buy yeah. one of each? You, you literally, I mean, driver three, five, seven, nine wood, you know, have a 24 degree light, uh, nine wood. The whole deal. Um, you know, again, base, base for that player who's really looking to launch it higher. I mean, we'll get to that stuff, we'll talk about the fairwood, but the, the hybrid, same deal. Irons, very easy to launch, but very strong in loft. Yep. Uh, 29 degree uh, seven iron. Right. Anytime you've got a seven iron with a loft that starts with a two. Sub 30, yeah. It's, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, uh, it's strong. pretty strong. So let's hit a couple shots with each. You can kind mm -hmm. of take us through little design features of, uh, of the iron, the woods yeah. and the driver. I'm just gonna kind of pop a few and just, you know, prop let's, Move that green maybe into like one, like one sixty-five. Smooth, just, just smooth a few yeah. out there. I mean, they're designed. That you, you know, hitting them, few warming up. Everything's very soft. Of course, yeah. You know, designed to be that way. Um, so, even though this is, has the stiff flex designation, it's all relative. It's relative. Nice. If it goes in, you have to play them. If it goes <laughs> in, you have to play them. Ah. <laughs> That rule has to stay alive. First shot goes forever. in the play. <laughs> yeah, forever. <laughs> nice. Yeah, very easy to hit. No doubt about it. I'm kind of pitching these and they're flying at 170. Yeah, nice. It's more or less why these sets exist. There's obviously a huge category of players that wants to improve, but there's plenty of people that just want to go play golf and not have a hard time with it. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly who that's, who that's aimed at. I mean, obviously, you know, like they talked about in their PK, you know, maybe it's the player who's a little bit, you know, across and adding some loft. So, you know, maybe that swing is it's going to be a little bit more, you know, who this is designed for. So kind of a little bit more sort of that sort of move you know, lots of high and right. So it would offset the excess loft by being stronger? Yeah. And the yeah. offset exactly. helps the uh, open face? Exactly. So not really for, for somebody who's leaning the shaft forward, five, six degrees down, mm. not really kind of who this is for. The 30, absolutely, and shallow, and out to in, that's, okay. that's the swing. Because if that seven iron was traditional loft, they'd be delivering 35 exactly. degrees of loft and they'd be hitting it nowhere. Exactly. Makes so sense. I'll try and kind of... Yeah, do one more of those. those. That was a good, a good example. The more of that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, you know, that player will still be able to manage a, a modern day kind of club now. By no means, I mean, that's, that's across, it's down, added loft, all that sort of stuff. But you, you've got a pretty functional shot out of it. You really did. You hit 156 yard, seven iron, basically online. Yeah. There you go. Just need to speed up a little bit. Yeah, nice. So it would appear they've kind of engineered it to help someone who has trouble getting the longer clubs in the air. Yeah. That's lots of launch, and usually when you see, you know, that amount of launch, mm -hmm. you don't usually get that much spin at the same time. So it's just helping someone get the ball high in the air. For sure. Yeah, I think that's maybe a bit more of the kind of flight that people would expect to see. For sure. I mean, it, it, the ball should turn over. There's no doubt. Yeah, it's 
the exact type of shot that someone would love to hit. Be able to turn the ball a little left. Yeah, launch and spin both are both are in a decent a decent little window there, Matty. So they would be hoping to what? Give someone tons of launch angle. Yeah. But it sounds like in the engineering, keeping the spin down was somewhat of a priority because the person who slices it just mm -hmm. can't keep that spin down at any point. Yeah, I think you know, trying to engineer the CG forward, but get the face to rotate was was the you know was the challenge for the guys in the lab. Um, obviously the. The kind of face construction, super shallow, mm. you know, very, very tight leading edge to the, the ground. That's trying to pull down sort of the, the, the sort of area where you're going to strike it oh, okay. um, and, and try and get that launch up as much as you possibly can. I mean, it's super low profile. We've, we've talked about that a little bit in the past, about low profile fairway woods. And usually they, they just spin like crazy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that is spinning quite a lot, that, that one. That one spun? Yeah. Held the face? Yeah, that was 42. It's all relative, though, because, again, it's still, yeah. it's still meant to keep the ball in the air for someone who swings a little bit slower than you do. And, as we say, and probably 103-ish is, is not where you're going to find... Well, that's the thing. It's high spin only relative tester. to your club head speed. If someone was swinging 80, then, what, 4,000 spins probably great? That's probably more the shape. It is. It's exactly someone's likely to see. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. seems to it seems to do a pretty good job. Does its job. It really does. Does its job. It, it it's turns quick over. Enough, right? Yeah. Turns the ball over and gets it up in the air. Let's see a few drivers. Okay. Good. It's kind of like when I think we were, um, we tested the Maverick Max Fairywood at the show. Yeah. And I was obviously drawing them. And mm -hmm. I remember you saying something like, like, what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said yeah. something like, that's what it's supposed, like, don't fight it. It's yeah, supposed yeah. to draw. True. And that's, you've hit the exact shot that I think it intends to, to play. Yeah, exactly the same. Because you have a very neutral swing, so if you make what's a straight ball swing for you should draw 25 yards. That's the amount of ball flight adjustment it seems like it's doing. About There's 24.8 with a zero path, mm -hmm. basically dead square club face, you know, dynamically. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neutral. It's producing, it's producing kind of a high draw for you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting, eh? It is interesting. If there's a formula for it where it doesn't look so... It doesn't look at all offset. I don't, like there's nothing there that's Far unappealing. It. it looks good, but if you just step up and hit it and it, and it automatically helps you hit it left, yeah. it's pretty appealing. It's got a little bit higher, but. Yeah, high draw. I mean, my, my word of caution will be for people to hear the marketing behind it and, and, and think it's a low spin draw driver. I don't see the low spin element to it, I really don't. Now, I agree with that. Would I need to put it into the nine degree head? I'm looking at the delivered loft and it's not, it's not outrageous. The yeah. last one was 17.9, that one might be about high. What was that last one, 15.6? No, it's 15.6, it's not high. Your strike was two millimeters low. Yeah. That would be my only, my only concern when people see the marketing when it comes out. Yes. And thinking that, oh, great, this is, you know, I'm a high slicer. Now I'm going to become a, a you know, low bullet draw. You know, obviously shaft will play some kind of role in that. This is super soft, 45 gram shaft. For you, yeah. Do you think a slower swing speed maybe fits into it easier at that point? Like, are they producing less spin? Yeah, I just don't see somebody with high spin coming in and, and walking out and with... And knocking it down. Yeah, with, with that, with a crazy solution. So we were joking around when they came in, they're supposed to be super easy to hit. Can't, can't imagine, you know, something much easier to hit. We thought, <laughs> why don't we have a, a one-hole match? One-hole match. You're going to give me a shot. A shot, yeah. I'm going to play right-handed. Old course, 18th. 18th. Um, Auto putting will be on, <laughs> so that may benefit one of us. I'm not sure okay. which. You go first. I'll set, set you the target. Set the standard for okay. me, and we'll go from there. Oh, lovely! It's late afternoon. 
Uh, would you like to request uh, any sort of aiming um, no, no, adjustment? No, no, I'm okay. I'm, uh, I'll aim just over the bridge. So the, it is aiming you at the left edge of the green as stock? Yeah, perfect. There you go. Okay. It's done its job. Right to left, straight. You have a bit of an issue here, though. Too close. Oh, seven. I've got only seven. Very many clubs. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's many a player played 18 with a seven iron for their second shot. Yeah, let me help you with this here. 76, 60 yards is the front edge. Okay. So, probably hey, it's a true link shot. Valley of Sin, probably a 50. Fly at 50? 50, 50, 50, 55. I don't mind your chances here. You. Are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? <sighs> you made a birdie. This is ridiculous. That'd be a this little can't too, keep happening. That would be too good. So I have to make... Okay, so you've, you can make a par. You can make a par, so I'm up, I'm up one tee deck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up one tee deck. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Makes two of us. The least you could have done was roll one out to 25 feet. <laughs> That's the uh. least you could have done. <laughs> Okay, oh, so to be honest, this is a moment in the channel <laughs> that people have been wanting to see for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, but you're, I've got you were supposed to play left hand. I've got to do the next challenge. Okay. Yeah, when the clubs come in, they're only lefty. <laughs> <When's that gonna laughs> be? Oh, a there's a real problem today. There's we only have lefties. <laughs> okay. All right. So got to think this through. What's your What's your righty shot shape? Cut. So Most what What happens if I th if I don't think and I just hit it for whatever reason? I'm like seven degrees in doubt. Oh really? So I actually, yeah, I know, it doesn't make any sense. So I, I try to hit a little bit of a slice and it will go fairly straight. Okay. But I think, given that I don't play right-handed, I'm gonna aim at, um, what's that, the Old Course Museum? Yeah. I'm well, gonna aim at the museum. Oh, that far left? Or the, the RNA Clubhouse? Sorry, the Clubhouse, clubhouse. not the museum. The museum's a little building. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna aim at the Clubhouse. <laughs> a gentle fade. Gentle as gentle comes. Okay. Big hop. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not far away. Right. Two eighteen down the pipe. Okay. Um, oh, you've only got one twenty-eight. That's like a <laughs> cozy <laughs> little seven iron. I should be able to hit seven iron that far. You think? Well, you've got one hundred and twelve. One hundred and twelve to the front <sighs> edge. This is too much. You might have to ease off this. <laughs> Imagine if I just hit it pure and it goes into three the point. Back. Yeah, I can see it. three point nine <laughs> with your shot. Two point nine. <laughs> It's true. If I make it, so if I make anything under four, I mean, net, or gross, it's a net two point nine. I think if you hit this inside forty feet, it will give you less than uh, less than two shots to get down. It sounds great. That's not all good in theory. <laughs> there was some practice on before this, oh. but I didn't see any practice with a seven iron. It wasn't much. <laughs> it's I became drivers. enamored with the woods pretty quickly. I'm like, oh, the seven iron's fine. Okay. Okay. Little cozy fade. I'm gonna hope that it, I think if I don't think about a fade, it, it will go so far left. Okay. So yeah, a little bit of a fade and get it on the green. Just get it on the damn green. Oh, it's a lovely swing. Get down. No! Oh, he's super game improvement. <laughs> super him. game improvement. Oh, it's dug in. Oh. Is it not auto putt range? I have to chip it? Oh. You're literally just off. Well, I don't know if that's a disadvantage, is it? It might have given you 2.2 no. .2 to get down from there or something. So, in theory, mm -hmm. if I chip this close. Do you want the grid? Uh, Here's the grid. Please, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but I think I need to chip it really close. I need to chip it to a foot like you did. Oh, I think he's been gentle with it, folks. Mm, the chipping prowess has something to be desired. Auto putt one. Well, unfortunately, due to the software, we'll have to take a, stin a stinky tie on that one. <laughs> Didn't really tie. According uh, to that, I made a, <laughs> made a bar, but I, I don't think I was making the 22-footer up the hill right-handed. You may have. We'll you take may. it for what it is. A push. So, guys, um, obviously, we're just having a little bit of fun with this. Um, well, you can see the target market, who, who it's aimed at. Definitely. 
Get out and try it. I mean, you know, obviously, I think it's going to favour the slower swinger. That's who the, the higher speed, uh, the spin rates that I'm seeing, the good speed on all of the stuff seems relatively it, quick. It's hot enough. I think I see it as a great starter set for yeah. someone. Yeah. I would picture, like, if you've got a friend getting into golf, they want to, yeah. as you said, you don't necessarily need 14 clubs. Maybe four yeah. or five of these are a great little starter set. 100%. 100%. Lots and lots of tech in there. Um, but just, I would just, as I say, be mindful that. If you've got a bit of speed, uh, maybe maybe we'd just fair. be a little careful with, with the amount of spin. Um, lots right. of great options in the market. On the driver, it might yeah, have been a little spin. on that one. I mean, yeah. Even the fairway, I found it really quite easy to, to spin climb. that fairway up at 4,200, when I really want to spin it at 3,200. So, it makes um, sense. The market research is probably that this is 80s swing speed in the 80s. That would be great. We could have low, to, low 70s into high 80s. Mm. Somewhere in there, go for it. Gotcha. Go well, this it. might be my right-handed starter set. We need a rematch. We'll have a rematch. I want to do. I want to do a few holes. Yeah, we should play like four or five. Yeah. I mean, it was it was perfect if we had to set up the putting properly. <laughs> what else is new? It's always something with that. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, a bit more to come. We'll probably have a, a more specific test for this, but it was a kind of bit of a, a last-minute test for us on on this one. Um, so let us know your thoughts if it interests you, mm. and uh, you know, or maybe even if the righty versus lefty match interests you more. Did it interest you? It interested me. It was funny. Uh, <laughs> okay, stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.